Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'd like to show you how to get water marks out of furniture. And there are several different uh, finishes that could be on furniture, so there's different techniques for it. But um, you've got to figure that out, and I'm going to show you how to figure that out. It could be varnish, it could be stain with a, like a lacquer, or stain with an acrylic over it. Uh, you just never know what it's going to be. So I'm going to show you how to determine uh, which method you need to do in order to remove those watermarks. So hang tight and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, turn the iron on so it can be warming up. Just need to turn it to a medium setting. You don't want it too hot. So I've got it on medium. And then we'll set it down while we get the cloth spread out as that iron continues to warm up. You can see that spot there, it's a pretty predominant, kind of a square looking spot. Spreading the uh, cloth out, which is just a t-shirt that we've cut up. It's a soft cotton product and I'm just checking right now to be sure exactly where that spot is. And when you first start this, you want to use uh, fairly quick movements with the iron and don't put get too much heat on it because depending on what kind of finish is on there the cloth could actually start sticking to your finish so you want to start out with fairly quick movements and not too many of them uh, just to test out your material and your what your finish is Doesn't seem like it's making much of a dent in it, so I'm gonna give it a few more strokes and just see if it starts to make any any difference. And when I first started this, I was showing you at regular speed. Now I've sped up the the film on this because I did this several times. You can see it's just now starting to lift some of that watermark off the edge closest to the camera is starting to get lighter now i'm going to slow down just a little bit on my strokes because the cloth doesn't seem to be sticking to the finish or anything so just slow down a little bit now keep in mind that the uh, camera's on fast speed so I'm actually going slower than what it's showing. There, now I slowed the camera back to normal speed so that's, that's about how fast I'm going with it. And you can see it's starting to lighten up the watermarks. It's lifting that and sucking it right into that cotton t-shirt. Again, we do it a few times and check it. See, the whole thing is now starting to get lighter. Just nice, smooth movements, and you don't want to stop the iron. You want to keep it moving, but just I'm slowing it down so that I'm getting more heat on there, and it's just keeping getting lighter and lighter. almost it's getting getting pretty good I sped my camera back up again so I'm still actually going pretty slow across there just keep in mind that the cameras going a lot faster See, it's getting really really light now I've got this other ring over here in this other area. I'm going to attack it and also stroke across the first one that I did. That one up there and then this one down here.
We got a nice slow process across there. Again, I'm not not at uh, normal speed. I'm going faster with the camera. That one spot was probably the worst on the whole table. There's a spot over here. I'll work on it some. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I'm just going to show you that I'm doing that one. And then I've got another spot up by my left hand. Uh, I'll show you in a second here. So that's about all I'm going to do on that one for now. I'm going to get up to this spot up here, right there, and uh, see if I can work on it a little bit. Again, I'm not going to sh show you the whole process. I'm just going to show you a little bit of it and just so you can see the different spots that I'm doing. That's enough on that. And then I did notice that this spot back here still had a light uh, shadow on it. So I'm going to work a little bit more on it. It was the worst one, so... You see how I'm kind of going slow and then I speed up and slow down because I'm just kind of catching that outside spot at the same time. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you the whole view of it here. You can see that that's looking pretty good compared to what it was before. Now this is the other table and this is a different type of finish. So I'm going to start uh, kind of at a medium uh, speed on it just because I thought maybe we'd get closer to where I, where I was on the other table. So I'm going over that. It was a pretty heavy water spot on this one. We're making a half a dozen swipes on it here. Now, pay attention. When I pull this cloth up, you'll see, I'm going to pull it up slow. You'll see that it's actually starting to stick to the finish. You'll see in the center there where the where the cloth is kind of peeling back away. See right there? It was actually starting to stick to the finish. So this particular finish can't withstand the heat as much. And so I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit on it. Um, I just, I don't want to remove the finish off this table and have to restain the whole thing. I'm just trying to pull those watermarks out. So I'm picking up the speed a little bit and it's still sticking a little bit. So I'm going to make less passes, but speed up. And then I've got this spot up here close to me. I'll show you right there. There's a water ring there. And it's already started to lift a little bit. And that's about all I'm going to do on this table. And then I'm going to put some lemon oil on it. Uh, so you can see that it's pretty well gone. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I will put a, just a link down in the description where you can get that lemon oil. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you'll do that and then click the bell icon, then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. And I, again, thank you again for watching. You have a great day.